I finally decided or found the time to do a grip collection video. This is pretty big for me and I'm kind of anxious because there's a lot of shit on this board, these two boards and my desk. Well, it's not my desk anymore, but it's a lot of stuff and I hope that I can remember to show you guys everything. Uh, I want to start with, I'm going to start from the top, which is easier for me, to the bottom with my hand grippers, which are my... Um, I guess my obsession when it comes to grip. I love all the grip tools, but grippers to me are a uh, fascination, I guess. Um, I'm going to start with the GHPs. I have from a GHP4 level. I guess it's not super necessary, but you know, there you go. That's a four. Beautiful hand grippers. I have uh, all my GH uh, GHPs are used. I got them from uh, like uh, from uh, some of the grip board members and uh, another guy from Europe, I believe. Uh, from four, five, six, and seven, I'm gonna try and be as quick as possible because it's never possible for me to be quick. I can never shut the hell up when it comes to training and all that stuff. Uh, now we got the Irish, I think they're Irish uh, Powerball, which is one of my uh, first. It starts with a, well, that, these are the old ones. That's a 200, the red one, uh, and I recently got the 150 pound. Uh, gripper. Well, my girl bought it for me. Was filming this video right now, so uh, thank you for this gripper, by the way. Uh, so I, I decided not to get the whole line because I am literally full of fucking grippers. There's just nowhere to put them. So I, I went down to the 150. So now I have five uh, Powerball uh, grippers. These guys were supposed to sponsor me and they sent me a few grippers, and then one of the packages got lost. The second package, and according to them, I'm not saying they're lying. And then they literally just stopped responding, so we kind of dropped it there. But nonetheless, I mean, good grippers. Uh, let's see, we got Iron Mind, Captains of Crush. Now, don't I mean, I don't even remember all these models from the really uh, light ones. Uh, the guide, there you go, I remembered it from the guide to the I think that's a sport. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna even go there. Uh, the, uh, trainer, don't ask me how I remember that stuff. And then we got uh, one, two, is that a two? One and a half. I didn't even remember I had that to be honest. Two, 2.5. Uh, that's the three. The 2.5 is rated at 51 kg or 52, 51 kg. Uh, this is a bit of a low rated three, which is, I mean, that's the little fucker. That I've almost closed a couple of times and still haven't managed to do it. 63 kg rated by Arm Lifting Grace, my sponsor. I have this one which I don't remember where I got, probably from Europe somewhere, uh, at 151 pounds, which I'm not closing that in the next fucking five years, whatever. Um, that's a 3.5. I just, I mean, these these dinosaur grippers are just used for a uh, chest crush and stuff like that. I cannot close that, you know, this one, you know, not even the idea of it. Uh, I am Tug. I believe that's number four. Nice little gripper. They're tougher than they seem. I mean, look, um, this is the old, the older line of uh, guts of grip from uh, United Kingdom, England, Britain, whatever. Um, I don't the, can remember the line, the the series, the the name of the line. But uh, these are discontinued now. They have the uh, I can't remember the silver ones. I, I can't remember. I would have uh, purchased the new the, the new line, which is it must be a couple of years old now, 21, 22, they came out. But Elite, Elite Group, I can't remember. But uh, now that uh, they're out of the union, uh, shipping and customs will leave me alive. Like a package that costs about 50 euro will be literally 120, 135, even to 150 euro with the customs because it's brand new product and uh, I'm going to get fucked. So that's why I haven't bothered with their newer series. Anyway, Gods of Grip. Oh, these are good ones. I have. I'm gasping because my nose is stuffed. By the way, uh, standard grippers. I have the platinum again from a connection in Europe. I'm not gonna tell you who it is. He knows who it is though. Um, standard grippers. I got the platinum and the iron. I haven't managed. I have not managed to close this. This 138 pounds. Uh, beautiful grippers. I mean, I haven't done. I haven't done many close-ups. The last few minutes, but I mean, it's iron mines are you know literally everywhere. I guess uh, these pieces of crap I bought in from it was AliExpress or 
one of those alleys, Alibaba, or I can I honestly can't remember. It's been a couple of years, two and a half years now. Uh, they're, I mean, they're no name, just the just the resistance. If you can see, it's just. I mean, they're tough little assholes, but I, I don't really know why I'm keeping them, to be honest. But anyway, uh, very, very, they came very cheap. Um, uh, Silver Bullet Wannabe, again from one of these websites. It's not an original. I think this was given to me, but I cannot remember. Honestly, I've, I've traded and, and bought stuff for so many people that... Uh, but uh, yeah, um, I think it was... Manus, I, I think I think it was Manus from Mom the Grace that gave it me that man it's been so long that you know like, it's a lot of stuff you, you will see what I mean in the, during this video uh, a bunch of carabiners or links I don't know what the Americans call it we, we say carabin here or krikos uh, klika whatever a uh, bunch of them because uh, there are a few uh, smaller different handles that you know they don't fit in the bigger ones and stuff like that I'll just leave that here well, let's see now. Now I got the original heavy grips. Thank you, uh, Bill Morrison. He he asked me. Well, I mean, when I was doing the uh, grip uh, grip review videos, not to, like mention he's a low key, he's a very quiet guy, but I still have to thank him because I contacted him and busted his balls about it because I'm a grip enthusiast, gripper enthusiast, and I said, hey, I got these replica ones that they sell in Greece, right here. The flip so here we go. So these that the, the look a, a little less, I guess, shiny, sparkly, these are a little bit more faded aluminum, gray, whatever the fuck. These are replicas. And I actually gave a few of the lighter ones to a friend at work, Otasus of Silosti I gave those and never got them back, but whatever. So these are the replicas. These are the original heavy grips, which I did the video for. You can see immediately. It's just, it's just more shiny. Um, Anyway, they sent me the whole line for free and never asked a cent for them. And I, I appreciate it because I said I'm going to do an honest review. I'm going to try to put out the name as much as I can. Sorry. Uh, let's see. We have a very beautiful, finally, I got that recently, a Robert Baraben or Robert Baraben. I don't know how to pronounce the man's name. From Austria. Uh, this, this is the 300-pound gripper. And it's a fucking car. It's so fucking hard to close. I cannot budge it. And I can almost not chest crush this. This is hard. This is tough. But I'm happy I got a Baraban gripper in my collection. And hopefully I'm, I'll be grabbing. I'll be saying that for years because I'm always getting more stuff. But, uh, oh, what's this? This is a Grip Bent Italia. Uh, this way right here. It's another and this is the level six. This is their toughest gripper. Again, I can chest move that now, but I can. I've managed to chest crush it. I cannot close it with my hands. Uh, from my friend Giorgio Giannico, or Giannico. I again, not, I'm not telling. I'm not pressing him. Great dude. Uh, good friends. Online friends. Um, a few other guys that are supporting him. They're always supporting us. Me and Abif in Greece, and we always support them. They're just good people and, uh, you know, passionate about what they're doing. So I was very happy to uh, uh, buy this grip from him probably two years ago, a year and a half ago. And uh, he's got this beautiful uh, large mega hub that I am eyeballing, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's see. Oh, Armlift in Greece, my sponsor. I said that a thousand times, but I'm going to say it again. He's a great dude. He's very passionate about what he's doing. These are, I mean, that's the lightest one that they offer. And uh, these are, uh, from as far as I know, I think he's all out of these. I actually managed to grab to grab another 200-pound uh, uh, gripper, so I got two of them. And this little asshole is harder than this little asshole. So I think it's good to have variety, but of course I can close this for many, many reps. So, you know. Uh, this is the 300-pound the from our move degrees that I managed to close last year, uh, 62 kg. Uh, I've done this color over here. So that's that's about 62 kg uh, RGC. That's like the real rating. It's not, if I could close the 100 pound grip, I'd be a fucking dinosaur. Um, let's see. They go up to 350 pounds unrated. Let's see, yeah, that's 350. 
and uh, I think he's all out of those. He's got a few uh, Olympians left, and this is honestly, that's my favorite Armored Iblis gripper, uh, the Olympian gripper. Let's see. This is a 50 kg uh, rated, and it's got the beautiful logo underneath. It's a little bit, I mean, it's all my shit is dusty and chalked up, but you know, that's what they're for. Uh, and because, <coughs> because I'm a freak, I got two more. Olympian Clippers. Uh, you cannot see that, but this is um, rated at 60 kg. It's, it's a bit tough, which is about my limit right now. I think I could close this with a parallel or a, a match monster set, probably. And this one, as you can see, it's uh, sealed. It's uh, stitched, uh, uh, stapled, stapled. Uh, so I can eventually get strong enough to open it, uh, you know, on, on camera and close it. Uh, TNS table mode set. I haven't done that yet, so that's why it's still uh, sealed. And I got another one on the way, which is rated at 54 kg, which is awesome. I don't have a 54 kg gripper. Uh, let's see, how many grease is done? Uh, use, a, use code Terry Grip, by the way, to get discount on Olympian grippers and all the other handles and training programs. We're gonna get to the handles, it's a lot of them, so I don't know how this long, how long is this gonna take. Uh, strength shot grippers. That was sent to me earlier this year. Uh, these are the three that they had. Unfortunately, they didn't have the 250. I think they have them now, but yeah, I mean, they turned their back on me, so I'm turning my back on them. Uh, this is the 200 gripper. They didn't have the 250 at the time, which is my working, my heavier sets gripper. So uh, it's only this. I think they have five. Their line consists of five of them or six. I can't remember. Uh, these are the traders. Uh, the replicas, uh, heavy grips, like I showed you just now, up to, <coughs> that's a 350, I mean, chest crush, it's, it's nicer because they're not as wide, I mean, you know, I'm taking, I'm not taking it to the extremes, but, <laughs> this is the standard grippers, uh, platinum or weight, that's the iron, and I mean, these are 8 centimeters plus wide, they're very wide. I couldn't find my caliper so I can show you guys, but then it would take so much longer. But these grippers, and of course the heavy grips are pretty close, the handles are pretty close together, which makes it easier for people to be able to train with them with different hand sizes. Catching my breath, uh, okay. This is the first Viking line. Yeah, that's a lot of, got a lot of stuff in here. Okay, I made it. Yeah. Uh, Viking, these guys were almost, also almost became my sponsor, but they literally probably forgot that we were collabing, so they just don't. Uh, funny story, because I know they're, I mean, from acquaintances and mutual friends, I know that they're good guys. I, I think they just literally didn't give a fuck about me when I showed up and I talked to them about it. They didn't care. But uh, funny story is, uh, since I removed their logo from my videos because they just didn't give a fuck and they never really bothered uh, and I just continued on since like last year they've been liking my videos which <laughs> it's uh, funny anyway uh, Vi wait this is not Viking oh shit I literally don't remember what brand these are these were sent to me from my friend Etta uh, from Iceland I got the boxes upstairs in the area I, you, I caught myself um, not having done my homework, but these are tough, but I cannot remember the brand. I probably will find the box because I've kept all the boxes from my the grippers that I've bought. I've kept all the packages, which is pretty obsessive, but anyway. Um, that's the Viking, the first one, okay. Now we got the Live Pro, and these are the two grippers, the, f the first two grippers that I bought when it came to Greece in 2019. Live Pro, Chinese brand. And uh, this is the 90 kg or 200 pounds, whatever. And this is the, this is a tough motherfucker. And uh, this is a 275 pounds, unrated, obviously. And Magnus has rated this as 61 kg. And I'm still not able to close this asshole. Because like he pointed out, I never noticed. This is a left-handed gripper. If you see the way the spring is, uh, is um, uh, designed, I guess, um, it's made for a left-handed, uh, athlete so 
but of course my right hand is my strong hand. I've come really fucking close, but I mean, I've the, the handles are also a little bit thinner if you compare them to uh, standard grippers or I guess most of these brands. Uh, also, the Baraban has a pretty thick fucking handle. It's huge. Um, let's see. The Life Pro. I need to stick to grippers as much as I can before we go on to the handles. Uh, these I haven't <coughs> these I haven't reviewed yet. They've been here for like seven, eight months. And these are Viking, like a second uh, batch. I think if you go online now, they're only selling these, and they're all after Brutus. So these are golden. I thought it were bronze. I mean, it goes to show how much I know about colors. But these are like golden. Uh, yeah, much like these and some of them. So I got the whole line here. Which again, I bought very, very cheap. I bought them like half the price. Uh, I it felt good because you know they kind of didn't give a fuck about me. So there you go. I bought your line for fifty percent off. Anyway, through an acquaintance, I have a lot of acquaintances in grip. I don't know how it happens, but I do. Uh, and now that's where the oh okay, oh shit, I forgot about this one. Oh yeah, that at the end. I think that's it. Uh, I forgot this beautiful tough ape gripper which is rated at 67 kg, that's out of my range, I cannot close that, uh, and it's, I mean, beautiful gripper. Tough ape, 275 pounds. Uh, this is the gripper caddy that I made, and I posted, I mean, it cost me like a euro in material and tape, and all, you see all the shit over here. Uh, so I made this for, when I finally do the video review of the, the Viking, the second batch, and then I will probably put them here, and then the power bolt goes up there, they don't fit anymore, so it's gonna be a lot of fun, or not. I'll probably remove these little pieces of shit here, and put it here, then I'll put the power bolts up here, I don't know, I haven't really thought about it. But anyway, this fits a lot of grippers, I cannot remember how many I stacked on here. 25 was it, 22, so I mean, we, you know, probably, I will not uh, have filled this up by the end of the year. Anyway, let's get this out of the way, because I got more stuff to show you. That's a part of the Okay, so now on to the grip handles, grip tools, I don't know even what you guys call them. The, it's mostly unlifting grease, because origin, that's some sandpaper. Uh, originally, I was only interested in grippers, and Manos, uh, he, he had me hooked on handles. So now I'm spending money on handles too, amazing. So this is the Minotaur horn. It's obviously chucked up. You can see it's a bulky, sturdy handle. I'm sure you, I'm sure you can break somebody's head with it for sure. Uh, this is the discus right here. It's actually, I've forgotten how heavy it is. I think I certified on this, I think so, with like 32.5 kg and unchalked because it's, um, I think I have the PVC in there. It's literally rubber. It's it's actually sticky when it's uh, lean, when it's not choked up, and the hand is kind of sweaty. That's beautiful. So you see, you kind of have to like heat up your hand. It works like that. So this is hell. This one I haven't uh, I haven't tried this at all, and I promise I'm gonna try it on Saturday. Uh, so these are out of the way. I'll just I don't know where to put them. Just put them here. Hey, almost. What are you? Uh, pinch block by Armistice Grace. He doesn't sell these anymore. This came with the first package with the hub and you will see I got more stuff. It's a pretty robust and something fell just now, I don't know what it was. But I haven't really practiced with this, but I love it. It's just it's so heavy and metal. I love metal stuff. I don't know what's up, but I do. Uh, big pinch block, let's see. We got the uh, Pillar of Hercules. Now these are open hand crushing grip. The handles. There was a logo here once, but I mean it's our lifting grease, obviously. Pillar of Hercules and the Excalibur, with which I did a decent PR lately with 84 kilo, and I haven't touched in the whole fucking year, so that was yeah, that was unexpected. I don't know if it actually fits. I don't know. Uh, and also this can fit into this uh, loading pin. You can uh, create a V bar handle which I recently found out it means vertical bar. I didn't know that, how embarrassing. But anyway, 
Uh, I love this little guy, but I think the Excalibur is, uh, I just, I, I get I'm better with it for some reason. Now. Let's see, moving on. I might have to pick it up. I've been talking for too long. Anyway, uh, tennis balls for mobility stuff here. My, my, you can see my forearms actually a little bit swollen. Uh, it's good, and it's always good to have an extra pair of balls, because you just never know when you're going to need extra balls. Pun intended. Uh, okay, some uh, just uh, generic, uh, tiny, uh, lighter grippers. I mean, they're not as, actually, they're not as uh, soft as they seem. They're uh, feisty, but I keep them for warm-ups and stuff. Uh, Nemean Fang or Nemean Fang. Uh, wooden pinch block beautiful i got it recently i got like 19 and a half kg i haven't choked it up i'm gonna uh i'm gonna uh, chalk it up nicely and again and again and again and when your hand sweats on it that's beautiful so then you can choke it up again and that's how you end up having stuff like this uh so pinch block again pinch tiny little block i found at a construction site it's not even a handle but i never got to do anything with it Beautiful key pinch, by the way, but I did never. Anyway, um, uh, foldable uh, loading pins here. Uh, these are felt, very, very sturdy. I haven't really done these for, I haven't used them for like the regular handles. They're mostly for the challenges that Manos has, where you use like one finger lifts and stuff. So I haven't really used that very much. Out the way. Oof, it's just endless, isn't it? Okay, uh, we have the warm up kit with uh, the egg and the donut and the finger expanders. The finger expanders have uh, really made a difference. I can, I can feel a difference immediately because I started using them 10 days to two weeks before I started doing uh, crib again. So they, they were a very great, uh, good uh, conditioning and preparation for the tendons, especially since the fingers uh, have mostly connective tissue and tendons. There's literally no muscle in your fingers. Aside from the base of the forearm, of course, and in the palm of your hand. Uh, let's see. A tiny little uh, coin made by a friend recently. I haven't tried this, but I love key pinch stuff, and that's a key pinch. That's the, the motion, that's exactly how you open your door. Key pinch, uh, little pillar given to me by, by Manos. Uh, and I'm guessing this is key pinch again, or a pinch. Yeah, it's key pinch, most likely. That's gonna be hard, because it's very, uh, very lean and slippery. Uh, one of my favorite handles, one of the most painful handles, the Talos Spike. Talos was a titan, Titanas and not Talos. Oh, okay, so it was an iron giant, whatever. Uh, I'm lifting Grease logo on it, nice looking. I just, I really love this handle. It's a bitch. It's quite painful. It drags your skin and it makes it harder and then you're tougher than you were in the previous session, which is great. Uh, key pinch again. I seem to love key pinch. Let's see. So we got Hydra Tooth handle, wooden. Uh, I believe this is a, I believe this is a doorknob from Manos mentioning it was, it's a doorknob uh, movement or an open hand crushing grip. I, I'm not an expert on grip, but I'm trying my best to explain to you guys what I have. Hydra tooth. Oh, these are fun. Dinner rings that I made at uh, the local iron worker or smithy. Uh, I went with the exact uh, measurements by Stevie Shanks. Uh, Jack Shanks, uh, the legend, legendary Jack Shanks. It was the first person that put the handles on the stones, if I'm not mistaken, I hope I'm not screwing up the history. And I contacted Steven, I said, I'm a huge fan, and I really want to make these and actually start training with them. I never got to train with them since I trained powerlifting, and there's usually no time for that stuff. But uh, these are, uh, because Manos has the Cerberus uh, set, if I remember what's the Cerberus set from the Dini replica rings, and they are exactly the same, aside from this one being thinner. I think the, the original ring is like half a centimeter thinner, but the shape and the size are, I mean, the, the circumference are diameter are the same so I mean and I paid nothing for him the guy just made him he gave him to me he gave him to me <sighs> let's see okay Hephaestus uh, forearm blaster I haven't used this handle yet obviously that's an open hand crushing grip or is it yeah that's an open hand crushing grip there you go for the I haven't tried this yet but there's so many of them <laughs> uh, 
let's see. A different set of loading pins. Oh, that's not very now, this is a f an F28 uh, diameter for the for the smaller uh, plates, the, the smaller hole plates. This is my particular favorite, I just love it, it's so heavy. Uh, this is the one that can turn into a V-bar and the original one I got with the set like the pinch block and the hub, that's the original older one, arm lift grease loading pin, which is, I mean, it's heavy as fuck. Gotta set this down, make a little room. <coughs> So, okay, we did this one, Olympus Peak uh, wooden uh, pinch blocks, again, I don't remember if I ever used them like this, I, I honestly don't, uh, but the challenges that uh, Manos puts up are usually for a key pinch, and this is, it's quite, I mean, it's brutal, it's really not as easy as it might seem, it's, uh, it's a brutal instrument, and uh, I am very close to... Um, I think I got like 27 kg and at 27.5 you get a certification for it. So I mean I haven't I haven't touched it in a long time though not this year not that much because um, I'm doing all the other shit. Uh, oh, yeah, we got. Oh, I'm just gonna finish with the unlisted degree stuff first. Okay. Tomato to kick So we got uh, Cyclops eye. Uh, where's the logo here? Wooden ball shaped uh, instrument for open hand crushing grip again. Oh, oh wait, I think that's a doorknob as well. Probably. Nah, that's open hand crushing grip. Okay, I take that back. Uh, we got uh, one of the recent ones, Atlas Bane rolling handle, which I kept uh, lean. I haven't chalked it on purpose. I did an actual like seven video, seven minute video for it. It's heavy as fuck. I really enjoy it. Um, Oh, the oval, which as far as I know, it's like, it's like his patent that he's sold quite a few around the world. That's, this is the oval handle. Again, really sturdy uh, design, beautiful handle, uh, logo again. This is another handle that I haven't really used that much, but I mean, you know, all the powerlifting training, all the other shit that I do, just not enough time for all that stuff. Uh, chalk box, of course, different. It's like it's a bastard. It's got strength soap chalk. It's got so many different chalks for me, but it keeps the house uh, dusty. Nice. Okay. Uh, okay. Iron mine rolling handle, uh, rolling thunder. Right here. This one is nicely chalked because I recently uh, trained with it and I suck. I suck at rolling thunder. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Uh, arm lifting grease hub. This came with a package. Uh, I think I've done 25 kg on this, if I'm not lying. Probably in contest, like a PR. Anyway, yeah, I'm at about 20 to 25 kg. I tweaked my thumb, and uh, in the beginning of 22, I really forced it back, and it pulled the muscle in my thumb. And it, it was hurting for like six weeks, so then I kind of dumped it, because I was starting my preparation for another powerlifting contest. Surprise, surprise. Uh, let's see, okay. Uh, some arm lift and grease keychain. If you, if you haven't noticed, I'm sponsored by them, so I pimp them out every fucking minute. But, uh, but again, he's the guy that had, that got me hooked on all these handles. I would just, I would just, it would all be just hand, hand grippers in here and no grip tools. So, I mean, you know. Uh, he also gave me this, um, card uh, tearing uh, practice set. I haven't really used it because he gave it to me the summer, before the summer, and I already stopped. So, now, uh, let's see, uh, we got, this is an F28 uh, log for the, the bars, which I use for a key pinch uh, warm up, it's great. It's actually pretty tough. I mean, if you're a beginner, I'm sure it's gonna be a problem. Uh, again, little guys for different finger work. These are tough for different fingers. Uh, obviously, these are, of course, a lot easier than this guy, but you know. Uh huh. Let's see. This little asshole was given to me 
by an asshole and uh, it was handmade. I don't remember who it was, the Ukrainian probably from Crab Hold. I don't wanna, uh, you know, I hope I'm not mistaken. This one's, oops, yeah, I almost broke it. Okay, I'll just leave it there. Now we got Pinch Block from Otevoima, Finland. I haven't used this yet, by the way. Uh, we got two different hubs from Otevoima again. I believe these were called uh, King and Queen Hub. I mean, I put on some clown weight on this. I literally three, five, six kg and it was slipping. So it's, it's really hard. Uh, this one's hard too because it's a smaller hub, much smaller than the I'm lifting Grease Hub. If you notice, I mean, it's fucking tiny. Let's see. Uh, various setting blocks, metal ones. Put the room after. Oh. Pink ones, wooden ones, uh, long ones with the Olympian gripper on it, the logo. I, I didn't even realize how many setting blocks I have. And I literally trashed one by accident. I never found it. Uh, some stickers. <coughs> I'm lifting this again. Oh, toothbrush so I can clean up, you know, the smudge from my grippers and stuff. I, I think I got this. I, posed, uh, put a, I put up a question on the grip board and... I think it was like Matt Cannon who said, hey, you can use a toothbrush. I'm like, oh shit, that actually works. So the tougher the toothbrush, this is pretty old, the, the easier the gripper uh, cleans cleans up. Uh, and finally, some of the, oh, fat grips or replicas, I guess, from Extreme Stores, who also gave me this nice towel. Thank you, Extreme Stores. Um, and uh, some uh, decks of cards. These are... Uh, some of my early, going from the lighter ones, moving up, you can see 30, 30 plus, 40, 40 plus, 50, 67, 72, and the latest that I managed to tear this year. I think it's somewhere. Oh yeah, okay. There you go. So that's uh, 75 cards for the card tearing online uh, contest. And that was fucking brutal. And I did that in, I think I tore this deck in 59.9 seconds or something, which it's insane. I almost got canceled and I damaged my, my forearm as always. You can see it's kind of sore. It always gets fucked up from the Smith machine, the, the squats and stuff. So I was super glad. And I thought I'm going to retire for the rest of the year because it's fucking brutal. I mean, car tearing, I don't use that much technique. I just go at it like a fucking idiot. So, uh, little decks, um... These are beautiful decks. Uh, they're a little bit tougher than the ones we use in competition, which is these here, BCG. That's what we use for the card tearing contests. And um, little decks, which I haven't managed to tear yet. It's not that I'm trying hard, but I just tried a couple of times, completely failed. Um, I guess probably that's it. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. I guess my stack of plates that I use here, I'm just, that's nah, nah, not super important. So my bench bands, of course, but that's not grip related. I got some nice Eleiko ones down there. Uh, they're all uh, 10 kilo plates uh, that I got cheap used by my uh, gym owner, Apostolo, where I train. So I said, hey, these are sitting out there. They were all literally, literally pissed on and, and dusty. And I said, hey, can I get those for 100 euros? Like, yeah, sure. So I bought all these. Uh, rusty plates, which was a nice bargain, I think. I'm expecting a few more grippers, probably. Uh, I rated one, like I said, then I'll probably buy a few more. I think now we can officially count them. So I got 74 grippers right here and uh, Along with the, the Olympic that's coming soon, I hope. That's going to be 75 grippers uh, in total. I think I got it all. I think I think that's it. I hope the video is not 30 minutes. I don't know how long I've been talking. I've been talking for a long time and my head hurts. And you can hear I got a sore throat and everything else. But uh, I needed to do I promised I would do this earlier this year. And I didn't. It only took me 10 months to finally do it. I found an actual day off so I can... I can take time out of my day and set it all up. It was so much shit that I thought, man, how many, ha I don't even know how many handles I have. Uh, but obviously the grippers are taking over and I would like to eventually go up to maybe a hundred. But it's not about how many numbers. 
it's not about how many grippers, it's more than having some nice brands in my collection that I can actually use. So at this point, I'm not really trying to buy the whole line, as in trying try the lighter ones, medium ones. I'm trying to get the grippers that are gold grippers and the grippers that I can do my heavy sets with. So I'm trying to be more practical these days. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Subscribers have gone up lately. And I want to thank you all. I'm getting literally a, subscri a subscriber to two per day, which is insane for such a small underground channel like mine. Um, I want to thank you all. I appreciate the comments. And uh, like, like, I've, like I say in the comments about Grip, it's always interesting to me being a powerlifter and certified strength coach. I'm always getting more um, comments about Grip and not strength sports, which is very interesting to me. It's not a complaint. It's just something that sticks out to me always. But uh, uh, like I said, I'm not a Grip expert. I, I ask questions uh, at the same time as you guys are asking me. I, I see myself as a hobbyist and an amateur gripster. I'm not nothing special. I mean, the best gripper I've closed to 2.5, and I got really close to 3. That makes me, I'm nowhere near like a very good gripster or an elite gripster. So uh, I'll do the best I can to respond to your uh, comments and messages. Like I said, subscribe to the channel, and uh, thank you for watching.